Okay, now look at this. All tossed and look at this. All firm and everybody hold together. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Man as a respect man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. All of you who are new right on over here, special welcome to you. Thank you so very much. Those of you who are there with, from, with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here with me, manners and respect to you all. Now today, this little video is to sharing with you a sweet potato salad. It's Jamaican. I'm using the Jamaican yellow belly sweet potato, the one that we use for the potato pudding. So it's the Jamaican yellow belly sweet potato salad. Now we're going to treat it like a regular potato or yam salad. I'm going to be using some of this um, yellow belly sweet potato and I'll be using a few carrots to put with it to probably just to enhance the color. Looking at it, I think I would need like something green, but I don't want to put tin peas or tin beans. So I don't have, if you have, if you're doing yours and you have some fresh green beans, you could cut them a certain way just to, you know, to match up with how I'm going to be cutting them or how you're going to be cutting your potatoes. But we're going to be using the potatoes and some carrots. And as we go along, we put it together. We might can find something green, maybe to garnish or something, but I don't have anything green. You could put green peas or sweet peas, but as I say, I'm just keeping it all, all all fresh not can okay so what you want to do first and foremost we're going to be using some eggs too so we have right here three medium eggs make sure your eggs are washed when you take them home so we are going to be starting off our eggs in cold water so you put your eggs down and i'm going to get my flame up medium 20 about 20 to 22 minutes on the medium flame from it starts boiling to get perfectly boiled eggs okay so we're starting our eggs right there in some cold water. Start your eggs boiling in cold water. Now we have a, another pot right on over here. We're going to be starting this in with some for the potatoes. And then also we are going to put some salt in them. But we're going to be putting the potatoes and the carrots together. They can go together. So we're going to put a little salt. Not a lot. Not a lot of salt. We don't want a whole of salt in this thing. Because we're going to be using... Um, a mayonnaise to bring this a mayonnaise dressing to bring this salad together so we don't want to put too much salt just a minimum of salt I remember the head starting off in cold water and this the potatoes along with the carrots I'm putting both of them in one pot on in the you start them off in boiling water so what I want to go now I want to go right ahead start peeling off my potatoes I want to show you what it is this is how it looks some people call it yams, but in Jamaica, we call it sweet potato. And you have different types of sweet potato. So you peel really, really sparing. You don't want to go too deep to, to really like waste the thing. Now, whilst you're peeling, camera girl, could you come close up on this, shoot them up on this? You know, it has stains so as, you, as you peel, it oxidizes. So we want to peel off real fast now. Go now and start dicing them up. And we're going to be having them in some cold water to prevent it from oxidizing further. We can have clean, pretty colors when they are ready until the water starts boiling. When you see me next, my calm potatoes should be ready, my carrots should be ready, and they'll be in the water boiling. So, okay, now family, we have all diced, we have diced all of our um, sweet potatoes. And this is a little white vinegar. White, um, the water, add in a little white vinegar. So I have them in there, you dice them like this. No bigger, because we want them to cook reasonably fast and not too soft. So this vinegar is to keep them from oxidize, oxidizing. We don't want them to turn dark. So we are rubbing, you give them like a little rinse and you might want to use a gloves for this exercise as it will discolor your hands. But you know me all the time and I can't get my hands all clean. So, and it will discolorize your cutting board. But you know how to clean a cutting board. So, I'm going to give them like a little kind of little rub off in there. So we have a little carrot. And this is the carrot and them are almost the same size. Look at that. Can you shoot them up camera girl? 
We're not using a lot of carrots. We want to see the carrots in there sparingly. Not too, too often we want to see them. It's just like to help it to bring up the color. Okay, so you're gonna go now, and you wanna wash, wash off all of this water. You wanna strain off this water. Okay? So, after you even run, you strain off this water, you wanna run it under some fresh water to make sure you have it the brightest color that you can get. Okay? Now this is what it looks like, brightest color you can get. So you're gonna be putting it, putting it now into your hot water. Let me guide it with my hand and you'll be careful. I hope this pot is big enough. I am not sure it should be big enough. So you wanna get it right in there and your flame must be almost up to high, not no medium, because we're not gonna cook it for long because we don't want them coming too soft. We want them to be cooked, but at the same time, they must maintain that firmness. Putting in the carrots right here. All of them can go in. Now we are looking at the ratio of the carrots to the potato. Look at this. This is how I want it. If you want some more carrots in yours, then you can go ahead. Now the heat of the hot water is taking them. And you are seeing this extra pretty clean color coming out from the potatoes. Look at that. Camera girl, can you shoot them up? The hot water, that's why I said let it stay on high. And we have already, you know, slightly salted it. So the hot water, because you kept it um, clean and you don't let it oxidize, remember, you know, you, when you're dicing it, you make some white vinegar, distilled vinegar water, leave it in there. As you dice them, you put them in there. Give them a little rough wash off. Let them that, you don't want them to cook with that oxidizing thing on it because it's going to end up turning black. So look at this one more time. You see they are there and they might come up extra bright and pretty. So let us go now and leave them to cook. When we return, we'll have them all cooked and we'll show you how them for look. You don't want to cook them too much. Our eggs are here. They are almost finished. So when you see us next, we will have all these boil and we're going to strain off, show you, because we're going to leave them to cool. So when we return, we'll show you how we'll proceed with this sweet potato salad. Okay now family, look at this. They are all ready. Let me show you. They are still firm, but when you squeeze, they can be mashed. So you don't want them to mash in the pot, you want them to mash in your mouth. Now what we're going to do, they, are, they have been cooked. But I want to tell you something else. We're going to strain it. But I want to show you something. We're going to strain it and run it under the cold water for a little bit. Huh? Run it, I'm going to be running it on the water a little. I'll soon come back. Okay, now family. We got it cooled down a bit. And it is um, as it is. But let me show you something. Even though it's cooked and it's out and you cool it down, it still is going to oxidize. So what you want to do, because we're going to leave it inside our refrigerator to chill. We want to get it all cool. You want to squeeze some a lime, some lime. I'm, I'm not sure if the lemon will prevent it, but I'm going to be squeezing some lime juice and toss it. Let me show you. To prevent further oxidization. Now remember, say cook, you know, so you have to be careful with it, because you have to go toss it again. So you want to be careful, but you want to get the lime juice sort of mixed. So now that it is there, you mix up the lime juice with it. We have eggs here. So feel free if you want to use your egg yolks or you just want to use the white of your eggs. I'm just going to be using the white of my eggs. You can chop them how you want them. So I'm going to be chopping off these egg, egg um, white. And you can use the yolk, probably freeze it for more, probably put together with some tuna salad or some chicken you can mash it you can find something for it man so what i'm gonna be doing now i'm gonna be cutting off these egg yolks chopping these onions and putting everything together and leave it to chill when it's properly chill i will come back to do the dressing and present okay family so we we have it like chill it's chilled okay and this is what it looks like the so proportion of the egg whites to the carrots and as i said something green in this but i do have like tin green peas and tin sweet peas but i want to keep it on the rail and if you want to keep it on the rail well if you don't want you could add a tin of sweet peas or green peas in there but i want to keep it on the rail so fresh green beans you know chopped in like small you know little cubes would do the trick right here to bring this up okay so i have got right here some chopped onions and you can use red onions too to even give it more color or you can mix your onions, some red and some white, okay? 
no we have that remembered i did put remember i did put a little lime juice to keep it from oxidizing further when we took it from the pot and rinse it so now we want to put something to dress it together so of course you know i'm going to be using some mayonnaise and you can put you can use what you want to use family take take completely all that i'm using take it off all together and put on your clothes take off the suit and me i put pan it and put on where you want put pan it so i'm putting i like a lot of mayonnaise on my salad so you do what you like so i'm putting about this i'm going for this from the start right so to this now i'm gonna add like about a tablespoon of granulated white granulated sugar I am also going to be adding a little paprika. If you got the smoke one, but I, this is not smoke, but the flavor is really nice. It smells really good. So I'm going to be adding a little paprika to bring up like the color. So make me stir right this one now and see how it goes. So we're going to mix this together with a little sugar, making sure that the sugar granules are dissolved in this paprika. And we are going to mix up the little in this mayonnaise and we are going to dissolve the paprika to see the color of what we are going to be getting. I remember we have the lime juice down in there on it. So look at this. I think this is a perfect nice little fully away from the fully white. This is a perfect color. Yep. So let us scrape it right out in there. And remember never serve your salad in the bowl that you toss it in. Please remember for presentation purposes do not do not serve your salad in the bowl that you toss it in. Look at the color of that mayonnaise mix on top of it. And as I say, you can completely, you can do what you like with this salad. I'm just showing you my way. You can do what you like completely different. Put on a, put a different thing, put different things. Take out the clothes out to, uh, together. But let the base of it be the sweet potato. But you can take this clothes, these clothes off it and you can put on your own. Let's toss it. Toss it gently, toss it gently. It's a beautiful color for this dressing. You want, let us go finish toss this and return to you. Huh? Okay, now look at this. All tossed and look at this. All firm and everybody hold together. So you notice now, we have moved away from this plain white mayonnaise mix. We have used the paprika. To color the mayonnaise and we have moved away from this pure just bland white can you imagine if we had the green in there let us plate up some of this look at it plating up some for you right in your face and you don't have to ask nobody if you know nothing about salad and them sitting there potato salad you don't have to ask anybody how this tastes so let us plate it. Eggs are in there. Carrots are there. And we have that different color um, to the mayonnaise going on. I could clean up this thing, you know. I could get it all clean up. You want to put it like more like on the like a volcano thing, like on an upscale. Kind of heap it up like yeah, go up a mount there, blah up a blue mountain. Me know where you go. Let us do this. Right in your face. Who wanna click off? Go ahead click on presentation time and when presentation time we don't play around we have got to get busy clean around the hedges this is presentation time clean around the hedges we did not have anything white green I'm sorry so at this point we want to go get little of this um finely diced green scallions that's a reasonable amount and let us see what we'll have when we are finished with this do it fine get it on the green side most of it on the greener side presentation we are striving for so let's just get about a little bit of it right on the top there we're striving for presentation right here. Okay? This is what we have. Careful. You want to get you're getting it so fine. 
and this is what we have we have moved away from this direct white look at what we have this is your perfect yellow belly sweet potato salad let me present to you from my kitchen to yours from my Jamaican kitchen to your kitchen, to your Christmas dinner, to your Thanksgiving family table, and most of all, to your stomach and to your palate. It is the Jamaican yellow belly sweet potato salad. Please do enjoy. You saw me. I did it from scratch. Okay? Enjoy once more. Remember I said to you, take it. Take these things that I've put on it. Make the sweet potato be the base. It's sweet potato salad, so you've got to have the sweet potato. Take all these that I've put with it remove them completely put your clothes put your things them onto it make it your own and send me let me know show me share with me please do once more enjoy now remember to like these videos i hope you're liking them okay like them some more you can't like them too much remember to share them with your friends remember to subscribe to the channel if <clears throat> i'm sorry if you have not yet subscribed what are you waiting for so much more to come you don't want to miss out when they are being uploaded okay and when you do subscribe remember to hit the notification bell when you hit the notification bell you'll be in the first to make your comments when you are being notified therefore you'll be a member of the notification crew and now today's post notification shout out it goes to k Lati and to belinda belin yes it is belinda it's not belinda lewin Belin, is it? Who is it? If it's, not, I think it's Belinda Lewin. If it's not Belinda Lewin, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I, your name will come on the screen, but it's K Lati and, but I don't remember. I don't remember. It is, but your name will appear on the screen. It's Belinda Lewin or Belfat Lewin or something. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't remember. But look on the screen. Your name will be on the screen. It's K Lati and Belfit Lewin. Okay, Debbie from Dongayar, bless, no stress. Sorry for not remembering your name. I know your surname is Lewin. You will, it will appear on the screen. I'm so sorry. Remember to like, share, subscribe again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your love.